What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my Four Star School YouTube channel. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn internationalization in this GetX package. We have learned the raw management, the state management, and also the dependence management in this GetX package in our previous lesson. So if you are new here, feel free to reach out to my channel page and you will find Flutter UI from scratch tutorial, GetX tutorial, Flutter tutorial for beginners, and Dart tutorial for beginners. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, sign up my content, and open the notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to open my Visual Studio Code in Android Emulator. As you can see here, I made this demo app before today's lesson. Don't worry, I will walk through the code line by line and explain to you so you will know how to make internationalization in this GetX package. So in order to make internationalization in GetX, uh, first, you need to create your custom class which extends translation. Let's take a look in this translation uh, folder. And here we have a translation example uh, which is just the entrance point for our application. And we wrap it with our material app. And then we have this uh, translation view uh, which is the basic view for our application. And we have a translation uh, controller for our application and also this messages class for our application. So first I'm going to talk about this message.dar. As you see, uh, this message is our custom class which extends the translation provided by this get SDK. As you see, in order to uh, make our application internationalization, we need to First, create our custom class that extends the translation class provided by GetX. As you see here, we override the keys method in this translation. And you see this syntax, we have the return type and this special keyword get and our method name. And in this method, we don't receive any uh, parameter. We only have one return type, which is this map. And you can see here, this get keyword is a special uh, method in the Flutter, which is getter. So the getter is a special class method that's used to retrieve the value of the class field. In here, uh, we're going to retrieve the keys inside our messages class. And let's back to uh, Visual Studio Code. And inside this method, as you see the return type, we have uh, the map. And inside the map, we have the string as a key and another map as it is value. So for example, here we define uh, this country code and language code. For the country code and language code, uh, here I find this website and I will put it in the description below and you can check the country code and the language code for specific language. So for example, in our Visual Studio code, the EM means the language code, which is English. And the US would be the country code and it's United States. Here we have our another map. The hello is a key and we have value is hello world. And we have a Spanish version key is the same which is this hello and we have this hola for the value and basically you need to define these keys inside your custom class that extends this translation as I mentioned in this mind map let's back to visual Studio, and we have our view as you see in the view we have this message controller so let's see what's inside this message controller. For the message controller, we extend the getx controller. That means we're going to 
let GetX state management to manage our controller. And inside our message controller, we define a method which is called change, change language. And we receive the language code and the country code. And here we create this locale and we pass our language code and the country code. As you see here, the language code will be our first parameter and the country code will be our second parameter. After that, we're going to use this get.update locale and pass the custom locale and change it. Right? So this is basically for this message controller which changed the locale. Okay, let's close it. Inside our translation view.dart, we're going to create our message controller and inject into the memory. We're using this get.put and then let's back to this mind map. Uh, we're going to use this uh, specific symbol to uh, translate our text. So for example, you just append this tr at the end of your key here. Uh, we have this uh, text widget as you see here and we have this hello is defined in our message there and we have this hello you will replace the key with the it is value based on the locale we choose for example if you have an english set as your system language you will display the hello world if you have spanish as your system language you will display this hola and back to our translation view in order to let or get to automatically replace the text for you, you're going to add this tr after your key. For example, something in here, as you see, we have this hello world. And when I click this button, and you will see the button actually using our message controller, and we change the language, we change to a Spanish version, the new locale and you will turn to Spanish. So let's see when I click this button and you will see our text actually change. And you are going to make some config for your get material app before you can achieve this translation. So back to our translation example and we have uh, our get material app. So inside the get material app we have some attribute need to specify. The first one would be the translation. The translation, you're going to pass your custom uh, translation class that extends the translation. And then you're going to uh, put your locale in this locale attribute. And first, the translation will be displaced in this locale. And you also have this fallback locale. That means uh, if the first one have some error, you automatically uh, choose the second one, which is this fallback locale. And you can manually uh, specify the locale you want to use. And also, uh, there's another way you can use your system locale. Just means you're going to use this get.device locale. You will automatically uh, retrieve the system locale and put it here. This is the requirement you're going to use the translation in the getx. So after you finish this step, and we can get to this uh, translation view .dar and put our key here, append this tr inside our text widget, and we have uh, this uh, translation button which can change our language. When I press this English, this entire text will change back to English again. So you see, we can change different language as long as you define the enough key in our uh, message .dar. Another thing I want to mention is actually you can use translation uh, with some parameters. As you see in this application, you see my name and my email will be the same. No matter I change uh, the locale to Spanish, when I click this Spanish 
button I change my locale to Spanish but my name and my email will be the same so that means we're using the parameter in this translation so let's back to Visual Studio Code how I achieve this and I put this login as a key and we have a English version as well as the Spanish version but the difference is, is I have this name with this add symbol and this will be something I will going to replace in my text widget with this tr parameters method as you see here this name and email just a placeholder you're using this add symbol and back to our translation view .dar. here we have this uh, text widget and inside we're using this login as the key and we're using this tr parameters method and you'll see we change this name to my name and email to my email so we could achieve this translation with parameter yeah it's pretty simple and easy right thanks to GetX it makes internationalization very easy and simple in our app development and I think that's all for today's video and I will post the code and the mind map to my patron I encourage you guys to practice this along with the video so you can get more understanding of how you can fully use this internationalization in GetX okay Thanks for watching and I will see you in next video.